Hello and welcome to my tarot corner. And this reading has uh, is not going very well with this, but I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, the Dungeon and Dragons uh, tarot deck is not very easy uh, to understand. Uh, this deck is uh, the the major arcanas are very easy, but the minor arcanas are very difficult. And it's I've had this deck for quite a while, and um, actually um, I waited uh, before I started to use it until I felt that I knew the cards uh, enough to use it and. I started doing this reading uh, at least twice, and I felt that I've been going for the enough for the book uh, too many times. This is my third time. If it won't work, then I will switch decks, and you will never see this video. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's a beautiful deck, and I really love it. And I do understand that in order to learn to use a deck, you need to start using it. So uh, this is why I've decided to use it because I do believe that Harry is going through a lot of dungeons and is fighting a lot of dragons on the way, uh, imaginary dragons that he has created to himself. So once again, I have the booklet right, right in here next to me. I'm going to try and start with an SOS question, then go to the Turaco uh, reading and see what we get. So um, before I start, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation and as such, may or may not be true so please do your own research and decide for yourselves okay so uh, the first question for the sos is going to be around whether or not the sussexes meant to call the royal family racist in the opera interview uh, we all saw uh, Harry uh, tracking back in the ITV uh, interview, which he didn't actually in the Cooper, uh, Anderson Cooper uh, interview, but he did do that in the ITV interview as if he thinks that uh, people from the UK and people from the US are not in communication. But he uh, the, tried to claim that he and Meghan never tried to insinuate that his uh, family was racist, that it was all a, uh, the British media that, uh, but it wasn't only the British media, that was all around the world media that, claim, that took up this very, very uh, alarming and very explosive part of the opera interview and, uh, and uh, interpreted it, it as we all interpreted it as them claiming that the royal family is racist. But now he's backpedaling because he is trying, I don't know what he's trying to do. I really no, don't know what he's trying to do. And maybe one of my next reading is going to be about that. And I am really, I really hope that you will uh, be more uh, active and, send, and uh, answer me uh, in my, uh, to my polls or give me more ideas to questions because I, you know, sometimes I get lost in the details and there are you know a specific amount of uh, videos that I can watch a day and not all of them I can digest and uh, I have to say that I sometimes get a headache from all of that uh, over influx of information uh, when I also have to work and today uh, it's now it's it's winter time so the clinic is overflowing with the children so 
as as I'm saying, it's it's that it's difficult. So if you have questions, if you want me to go look into things, please, please, please send me emails and uh, give me more ideas. Okay, so. Once again, the first question is going to be about whether or not they meant to uh, call the, to uh, insinuate that the royal family is racist in the Oprah Winfrey interview. So I am clearing the deck. So, did Harry and Meghan mean to claim that the royal family is racist while, when they said that there was talks about Harry's potential cl clear uh, getting uh, skin color during? Sorry. During the opera interview, did Harry and Meghan insinuate on purpose that the royal family is racist? Did they mean that the world will understand that the royal family is racist when they? said there were talks about Harry, uh, Archie or the baby's potential skin color during uh, Megan's pregnancy when they were still working royals in the royal family. Harry and Megan uh, deliberately say uh, or insinuate that the royal family is racist while they said that they were concerned about their child's skin color when Meghan was re uh, pregnant while they were in the royal family. Okay, I think that I covered the questions from all angles and let's see. So I'm Cutting it once and I'm taking three cards. The answer is in the middle card and you know that most of the times we're getting a message. So let's see what the message is. And we are getting a page here. So let's see what kind of page because I always have problems with pages. Okay, so this is the page of wands. And pages are people that, uh, as I say most of the time, court cards are people that are that have problems and because of that they are missing opportunities but the most problematic uh, court cards are the knights pages kings and queens they have more ability to get over those problems the page of wands is a page that speaks about freedom it speaks about a a uh, learning this it's a card uh, that speaks about the ability to go and study new things to learn new things it also speaks about jumping from one bandwagon to another bandwagon and this is not a, a clear answer uh, but it does give us this a uh, uh, feeling that uh, this is a yes answer because of the positivity of the pages, of all pages. Uh, now, as I once I used to say that all court cards are automatically yes answers, uh, usually we need to look at the message of the cards mostly uh, in, uh, to, to understand the, the actual mean, uh, answer, but mostly the, uh, the it, because it's a court card, it is mostly a yes answer. So it does look like they meant to. Now, if we're looking at the picture and this person here, he looks like a conniving person. He looks like a person that will go and uh, do something in order to, uh, to 
get someone in trouble. He looks like someone who will insinuate something in order to, uh, uh, even if it's not true, just to get things his way. So once again, this is the page of wands. This is a card that speaks about a, a person that is wandering, a person that is going around and uh, jumping from one bandwagon to another bandwagon. As you can see here, he has selection of things that he is making because is nothing really, he doesn't really like anything. He keeps, keeps going from one thing to another. And this is all, all, also about a person that is going after his own, uh, let's say his own, um, cravings, his, what he wants, what he wishes, the things that he wants. And once again, because uh, this is a court card, because they wanted to, to insinuate, they get, wanted to get the sympathy from Oprah, Oprah, they wanted to get the sympathy of the world, they wanted the world to believe that the royal family is racist, this is a card that, this is a yes card for, in my opinion, anyway. Okay, now let's see what do the side cards tell us. And in this card, we side, we get the 10, and if I'm not mistaken, it's the 10 of swords, but let's see. And I am mistaken because it's the 10 of wands. Did you, do you see what I mean when I'm saying that uh, the, these cards are not, so straightforward because you see the sword here it's so easily to the easy to make that mistake but actually when we look at this card and we see this man with all of those elves on him, on top of him uh, we see that this is a, a person that is taking way too much upon himself and this is what we mean when we take when we say the ten of wands is an overload someone who has taken too much upon himself now if we're looking at the direction he's not looking at the at the uh, uh, at the page and the page is not looking at him Okay. So this card shows us tendency to self-destruct. This is a card of, of people that are claiming to have an overload. So if they are trying to explain to us or to themselves why did they insinuate that the royal family is racist, uh, and especially that is to themselves because this is mostly uh, them, cut. well, Rosie is being very irritated. She's coming in and out, in and out. She wants me to cuddle her. She doesn't want to sit on me and she's biting my, my feet now. Okay, uh, so as I was saying, uh, the Ten of Wands is a card that shows that they have this tendency to self-destruct. This is a, this is a, a man that is a, in need of a conquest. This is a woman that is vindictive. Uh, this is a people that are looking at the tomorrow, their tomorrow in a warringly. And this is about survival today. So once again, they were in this survival mode. They felt that they, you wanna go out to again? Okay, I'll let her back in, back out. So if they are trying to uh, reason as to why did they insinuate or uh, that the, that the royal family is racist, it was because they had too much to, bear, to, to, to carry upon themselves. It was an overload. It was way too much to, uh, too, too, too much to, to bear. And they were in this self-destructive mode. And this is about their time as the royals. They were suffering. They were in this very bad state. And this is how they felt. And this is why they needed to do that. On the other side, we get the three of 
but I think it's sword or wait a minute. Yeah, that is the three of swords. So uh, when two, uh, when, when this card is between two negative cards, it negatively uh, influences the page. And then the page becomes a negatively influenced page. It's like this page is upside down. So this page becomes a page of a person who ex needs excess freedom, excess need of space, and a person who has difficulty to commit. And this is about the both of them. They couldn't commit to royal life. They had excessive self-confidence when they went to opera and they said that the royal family is, uh, uh, or they tried to insinuate that the royal family is, uh, is uh, racist. Uh, this is about uh, two people that are uh, snobs uh, and this is a card of people that are well, well, well having well too much of a, a self a confidence and they feel that whatever they say they can say it because nobody's going to try and to uh, 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 to t say tell, to tell them that they are wrong now this on this side we get the three of swords which is a card of destruction and failure that is known in advance because they because beforehand they were in the two of swords energy that was a card of being in an energy of being unable to see reality and because of that unable being unable to cope with reality so if we're looking at the whole picture of their the way that they acted that time uh, they, when they were in the royal family, they were unable to see reality. They were unable to cope with reality. They felt this overload. They felt that everything weighs way too much. And this is beginning with the fact that they did not get enough and as much as they thought that they should get. They did not get uh, the, the, the sympathy and the, the, the um, um, empathy that they believed that they deserved. They thought that they had it hard. They thought that they did not get the uh, consideration that they deserved. Everything was too difficult. Everything was too hard. Uh, and as Megan kept complaining that she did not receive uh, the help that she wanted or that she needed. And Harry has the 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 pertinence to come out and say that uh, uh, to to come out and even uh, excuse the way that they acted towards uh, their uh, the staff that they bullied and say that it was a, a, a criticism and building criticism so all of these things all of them together led them to this behavior of this over self-confident page of uh, of wands that believes that he should get what he wants everything that he wants he should get this is a person that is that believes that he uh, can uh, get uh, that he deserves the freedom that he deserves the space that this is a person that uh, is unable to commit to things and they were unable to commit to life as royals and they decided to leave and part of leaving was also getting back at the family that didn't uh, give them what they felt that they deserved. And this is why we get the Three of Swords here and the Ten of Wands here. Okay, so, Taraco reading. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to shuffle the deck once again and I'm going to ask the cards to align in a way that will answer correctly 
my next questions. Clearing the deck once again. Okay, so please align the cards to answer correctly my next questions. Please align the cards to answer correctly my next questions. Please align the, the cards to answer correctly my next questions. Please align the cards to answer correctly my next questions. Let's do it once more. Please align the cards to answer correctly my next questions. Okay, once again, tapping the deck. Now I'm taking four cards and then, at first I'm asking the question, taking four cards and seeing the answer. So the first question is, is Harry still using drugs today? Uh, we do see him with pupils dilated. He's been admitted, he's admitted to using drugs and also, even after he married, he got married during uh, the delivery of his children, and uh, even when he was at Katy Perry's apartment. So, is he using drugs today? And I'm getting this a seven card. So let's see what kind of seven card is this is. So this is the seven of swords. And the Seven of Swords is a yes card. Now, many people think that the Seven of Swords is a no card, but that is not true. The Seven of Swords, uh, wait a minute, let me just check that it is Swords and not something else. This is Wisdom. So Wisdom is, wait a minute, Wisdom is Swords or Cups, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. This is the Seven of Cups. I'm sorry. So this is the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is... Wait a minute. Now I'm just completely... Uh, completely... Um, okay, so the Seven of Cups is... Okay, it's a dreams come true. Okay, now it makes all the sense in the world. Okay, so the Seven of Cups. This is a dreams come true uh, uh, card. This is a yes answer. And if you remember how the Seven of Cups looks in the Rider Waite, there is this person who has these cups on, uh, uh, on, on this big... Um, um, cloud. And it looks a little bit like this... A, a, a little bit like someone who, it could be someone on drugs who is hallucinating. It looks like hallucination. And it does look like something that could very much be like someone on drugs. Now, Seven of Cups is a message card with a yes indication. It is about leaving the comfort zone. It is about being able to fulfill dreams. Now, uh, if you remember what Harry said about uh, using drugs, he said that when he used drugs, it made him look, see the truth or see things in the right way. Now, this is... Uh, the wrong, this is like wrong in so many ways. I mean, for a grown man to, to come out and say something like that about drug usage, to come out and be so positive about drug usage, to come and say that drug usage has any, any kind of benefit, but this is how he sees drug usage. For him, drug usage did make his dreams come true because he's living in this completely... A, a cloudy a, a 
world of uh, delusions, and uh, the, he's not living in the right in the in in the uh, in the in the uh, uh, in the reality. He's not living in the reality. So he is using drugs today, and this card is so true to this question. Uh, yeah, sometimes the, the tarot really amazes me. Okay, next question. Did Meg, uh, the queen really beg Megan to use one of her tiaras instead of the Spencer tiara? Now, let me remind you that the Spencer tiara does not belong to the royal family. It's not in the uh, royal vault. It does not, it's not part of the royal family's uh, uh, jewels, it belongs to the Spencer family. Now, it does not rule out uh, uh, Harry's asking Charles Spencer to uh, give him the Spencer tiara uh, for Meghan to wear. Could be. But he claims that the queen begged Meghan to wear one of her tiaras. So let's see if that is true or not. So let's check. Okay, so let me see. And this is the Empress and the Empress is, uh, this is actually uh, not, it's not a begging card. It is a card of a woman that is willing to give whatever she has. Uh, the, this is a, a, a message card. This is not a yes or no card, but this card is telling me that the queen was willing to give Meghan and Harry whatever they wanted. This is a card of a, a woman that is willing to do whatever she can without asking for anything in return. This card is just so fitting for the queen because this card shows that the queen herself was she did not beg Megan for anything. She was willing to give her whatever she wanted, except for that tiara that was not allowed to be used because of its heritage. But she was willing to give Megan whatever she wanted. And this is what the Empress card message is all about. So this card is telling us, and I don't think that the Spencer Tiara even came up really in real life. I think it's another one of Harry's delusions. It's something that maybe Charles Spencer could come out and say if it's true or not. But the Empress card is telling us that the Queen was willing to do whatever she could uh, to make Meghan feel uh, included, to make Harry feel happy. So this card shows us that uh, she was uh, so happy to give uh, whatever she can, she could, without asking for anything in return. Okay, so next question. Charles, William, and Catherine were jealous at Megan because she was such a star, because Megan was a self-made woman, because she was uh, uh, such an, um, an amazing star uh, uh, and such a great act actress. So were they really jealous of Megan? Were they, did she threaten uh, Charles and Catherine and William? And the answer is a six. And let's see what six it is before I'm starting to say. And this is... The Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups is a card that speaks about second chances, like all sixes, but it is also speaks about rectifying errors of the past. It speaks about childhood children. It speaks about a person that comes back from the past and about a, a person that 
is unable to get out of the comfort zone and to move forward. So this card is mostly about nostalgia, mostly about remember th re remembering things from childhood, going back to the past. This is not a yes message. Once again, this is a, a, a message card. This is not a yes or no answer, but the message here is not a yes message. The message here is mostly a person that lives in the past, a message, a, a, message, uh, a person that is uh, there inside his childhood, he lives in his childhood, he's building these castles in the air. This is a person who is uh, having difficulties in getting out of his comfort zone. This is a person who has done a lot of mistakes and he's unable to rectify the problems of the the uh, the the or the um, uh, the errors that he made the six of cups is not an easy card so altogether this is a no answer but it's mostly a no answer because it's mostly a castle in the air of something that exists in Harry's mind. It's something that exists in Harry's head. It's just something, uh, this, it's just a fantasy that he has built. And we can see that very, very thoroughly in this card. This card does not show us one of the uh, Dungeons, uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, 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 players. What it does show us is a child that is reading about it and he's uh, thinking about it and he's dreaming about it and he is building his castles in the air. So this is very much a card of someone who is living in a fantasy world. Okay, so this is the answer for this. Next card, next question. Harry claims that Megan received things uh, as gifts, but the things that she did not need, she gave uh, for, uh, as she re-gifts, gifted, she gave to others. And the people who worked there said that they never saw Megan give anything. So let's see if that's true. Did Megan give things that she received as presents, things that she did not need? The answer is a king. And let's see what kind of king is this. And this is the king of wands. And the king of wands is like the... Uh, more mature or the 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 in the male version of the queen of wands the queen of wands is usually the 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 megan card and the king of wands is the initiator he's the one who knows how to begin things he knows how to start things he's not very good in taking them all the way through he's not very good in uh, starting things in 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 ending things. And this is a card of someone who gets irritated very easily, get angry very easily, someone who loses his temper, someone who is impatient. And so this uh, uh, is once again a message card, but the message of this card is someone who starts things but not very much ends them. So. It, it, to get a, a, a gift is to start something. To give it to someone else is to end the cycle. Uh, I don't think that she ended the cycle if we get a king of wands as an answer to this question. Uh, if we had here the king of swords, for example, the answer would have been a yes. But the king of wands is someone who is thinking about himself, is self-obsessed, he's not thinking about others. This is not someone who will go out and give things to others. This is not someone that uh, uh, is willingly uh, giving up things that belong to him. So I don't believe that she really gave anything to anyone. Last question is, did the seal, where the seals, uh, singing back to Megan because I be can believe that Megan sang to the seals in Scotland, but did the seals 
sang, sing back to Megan. Uh, I can believe that Harry heard the singing of the seals because in his mind he probably did, but hard truth. Were the, the, were the seals in Scotland uh, singing as an uh, answer for Megan's singing? And I still have questions that I haven't entered into the, these readings, still have uh, loads of questions. And the answer here is a five. And let me look at the fives. So this is the Five of Wands, and the Five of Wands speaks about victory quest, but uh, getting the victory if you are asking for help, and this is an unconventional help. So I do believe that the seals were singing. I do believe that Megan may had someone help her, some kind of an unconventional help. Now, I am not a zoologist, I don't know anything about the singing of seals. Maybe she timed the, timed the visit in a way to uh, make that uh, coincide with the time that the seals are singing. I'm not sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, maybe there is a way of uh, making them sing. Uh, uh, maybe someone helped her concoct this, but she received some kind of unconventional help to make that happen in order for Harry to believe that she has these imagine, unimaginable powers in order to uh, make him believe that she is able to uh, communicate with higher powers. So this is the answer for this question. Okay, so that's the tarot. And you will agree with me that the cards are beautiful, very, not very easy to uh, understand them uh, without having the book near you. And I will have to use them quite a lot in order to uh, learn how to use them without needing the book. The Oracle card is, <clears throat> as always, for us and for the royal family. This is the Seven Energies Oracle. And let's get, ask for advice for us and for the royal family. With dealing with all of Harry and Meghan's lies. So I'm clearing the deck. Okay, so advice for us and the royal family on dealing with Harry and Meghan's lies, Harold and Mog lies and how to deal with them. Advice for us and the royal family. Okay, so I'll take two cards, one for us, one the royal family. So this is for us. And this is for the royal family. Now, this is from Colette Baron Ray. Now, if you know the Wisdom of the Oracle uh, deck, uh, it is also a hair deck. So it looks very much, uh, very much alike. The first card for us is a Close Encounters. And it is about a vulnerability as strength letting others see our wounds as well as our strength, letting healthy, uh, setting healthy boundaries. So it's time for, uh, for connection that asks for us to be vulnerable and authentic, let go of masks and construct uh, constructs that we use to keep ourselves apart from others, lower our shields and allow ourselves to step into intimacy. 
So it's about becoming closer to people, to remind ourselves that we are not alone, alone uh, that we are part of a beautiful, meaning, meaningful bond. Uh, so ma mainly it is about feel, the feeling that we are not alone, that we not, don't need to defend ourselves because we are empowered, because we have the, the, the power, because we have the strength. Now, for the royal family, it's healing the heart. And I do believe that they need this energy, the empowering message here is a healing, making amends, the willingness to release past pain, being responsible and accountable, taking time to get healthy, renewal and rebirth after suffering. So this is for the royal family. When you are wounded emotionally, you need time to regroup and find your center. You may have recently endured a betrayal, a lost someone close to you, which happened, or lost a, an affiliation that you gave too much power to. Perhaps you're watching someone go through a difficult time and feel bad that you can't help them. Maybe you're still over, uh, not over a past disagreement. No matter the cause of this heartache, and I think that they have more than one cause, deep healing is called for. This happens on its own timetable and can never be rushed. The path to healing the heart centers on reciprocity the flow of giving and receiving. Sometimes wounding occurs because we've become too dependent on one another. And this is accompanied by desire to manipulate or control an outcome. Both wounding and healing usually begin within, not from the outer condition of our lives. We often believe we can be wounded only by others, but we do more damage to ourselves in the self-sabotaging way we think and behave. It is important to take steps to heal yourself and become willing to release the pain of the past, which can be tempering, tempting to revisit. It's time to take responsibility for your part in this healing journey. Look for ways you can help yourselves and others. Are you willing to make amends if needed or conversely accept someone where they are without trying to influence their growth process? Interesting. Healing the heart is all aspects in your priority now, nothing else matter, matters, only beauty and goodness will come as a result. Well, it's a message that I think the royal family really needs to hear. So this is it for this reading, and I hope that you liked it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, uh, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.